welcome back. We are in conversation with Munmun Sen. Munmun, break ke pehle aap keh rahe the that it was a great advantage for you being Suchitra Sen's daughter because doors opened up for you. But there must have been a lot of comparisons therefore at the same time. A lot of comparisons. I think the first generation always gets comparisons and the next generation if there is one in the same profession are lucky enough not to get those comparisons. So I've always suffered. I've been quite successful, if I may say so. I've done quite well, but it has always been, oh, ma bishi bhalo chilo. Ma was much better. But the roles your mother did, as you said, you know, she was called the eternal romantic hero, and a lot of people see her as the most romantic uh, actress mm, of Bengali cinema. In the cinema. history of uh, Bengali cinema. And the roles that you have done, to be perfectly honest, really haven't been of those standards. Uh, not in Hindi cinema, no. And yeah. I'm basically a Bengali actress. So I worked with, my misfortune was to work with a lot of her directors and cinematographers and makeup men who spent a lot of time trying to make me look like her because the resemblance is very much there. And uh, there was no mistake because the roles are still the same even today. It is the main heroine always does uh, long suffering wives or daughters-in-law and that hasn't changed at all so rhyme is doing that and Rhea will start doing that eventually too so Lekin the comparison will always be there Lekin kya aapko lagta hai ki you've really been able to live up to your mother's image maybe not in, in in hindi cinema but in bengali cinema i think i was intelligent and never really wanted to live up to her image because i wanted an image of my own and i think i established that you know no fact, one's going to say that she went the Suchitra Sen way and couldn't make it. She, I think my image is a little different. Quite different, in fact. I think that uh, your mother was more of a, you know, a classic beauty mm -hmm. and you were more of a glamour girl. I think glamour comes from your personality and I think my mother was terribly glamorous. She was also accused of being very, very glamorous. And uh, her glamour is in the way she sat, the way she spoke and, you know, whatever she did, the way she looked, the way she did her hair, makeup, everything and very much her personality. So, you know, it, in the Hindi film world, glamour is often confused Special. with clothes and, yes, with roles and dancing and, you know, are you wearing a yellow jacket or the latest leather skirt, that kind of thing. In my eyes, you were terribly glamorous. But not to be confused with your screen roles. I was doing basically Bengali bahus you know, head covered in sindoor and everything. And at the same time, I came to Bombay and I did a film where one of the stills came out in a very big way of me wearing a swimsuit. To me, that was nothing, there was nothing wrong in that because I swam, I'd had two children, my husband didn't give a fig whether I was working or not. But my producer was losing his hair thinking, oh God, is this image of hers going to affect it in Bengal, you know, with her little Bengali Bahum image, yeah, which is not yeah, doing too well. No, it didn't. I survived with both these images all through. And do you think these comparisons are fair? The comparisons that do crop up between two generations? Do you think it puts too much pressure? Is it okay? Is it? You, is it, is you it know, if you're a public person, you can rail about it, you can rant about it, but you just have to let them do what they like because you're not your own property anymore. But the question arises: Ki kya ye fair hai? Or hamne kai logo se pucha, Is it really fair to compare two generations? And this is what they had to say. वो उनकी उनका नाम लेके आ रहे हैं बॉलीवुड में, so they should be compared with their mother and father. जो पुराने एक्टर्स हैं और आज के प्रेजेंट एक्टर्स हैं, उनके अपने माँबाप से कंपेयर करना ठीक इसलिए नहीं है, उनका कैलिबर अलग था, इनका कैलिबर अलग है। अमिताभ बच्चन जो इस वक्त है, वो पूरा आसमान है। ये अभी थोड़ा सा चमकता हुआ सितारा आगे आगे धीरे धीरे बढ़ रहा है। आज के एक्टर्स को उनके पेरेंट्स से नहीं कंपेयर करना चाहिए और उनकी खुद की इंडिविजुअलिटी, उनकी खुद की एक्टिंग, उनके खुद के मेरिट्स के बेसिस पे उनको लाइक दे शुड बी मेजर्ड। पेरेंट्स अपनी जगह पर बिल्कुल सही थे और उनके जो बच्चे हैं स्टार्स कंसीडरिंग कि आज के जो मॉडर्न जमाना है उस हिसाब से वो अपनी जगह पर हैं तो दोनों का कंपैरिजन बिल्कुल ही गलत रहेगा। ईशा देओल को अपनी पेरेंट्स के साथ कंपैर करना चाहिए पर उसको थोड़ा टाइम देना चाहिए बिकॉज़ हिममालनी और सबको अपना टाइम मिला था अपनी एक्टिंग कार्यों के साथ अच्छे डायरेक्टर्स मिले थे तो टाइम देना चाहिए अब एग्जांपल ऋतिक रोशन और राकेश रोशन का भी लोग हैं दैट्स द बेस्ट एग्जांपल आई सपोज क्योंकि राकेश रोशन जो इतने सालों में नहीं कर पाए वो ऋतिक ने 3 सालों में करके दिखाया है ज्यादातर लोग जो कह रही हैं कि इट्स नॉट रियली फेयर टू कंपेयर देम बिकॉज़ ए देयर देयर ओन पीपल बी आई गेस इवन सिनेमा 
keep changing over time and requirements of cinema keep changing over time. Methods of acting have changed so dramatically. Personalities are so different and you can't expect, I guess, the next generation to be a stamp of the old because they have to be their own individual people. However, being a part of the industry, did it scare you like it scared your mother when your children, your daughters wanted to enter the film world? Well, I'm assuming it scared my mother. But uh, I remember I went into work for a very serious filmmaker called Oranthuti Devi, who was one of the top actresses turned director. And that was the morning my mother rang me up and she said, you have my blessings and, you know, I'm glad you're choosing your scripts properly. And uh, my fears about my daughters are more than I think hers were for me. So when your daughters chose to enter films, what were your apprehensions? Oh, that they would go berserk because they, you know, they had red carpets open for them everywhere. I had one, but they had them, you know, all over the place. And uh, I was frightened they wouldn't be able to handle it because I had no one to guide me. And they actually had no one to guide them either because You're they were there. very young. No, I wasn't there. I was still working. And uh, actually, it wasn't Rima so much as it was Rhea. And Rhea was just too beautiful and uh, too fated to keep her feet on the ground. That's what I was worried about, that she would be flying. And she was really one of the most beautiful girls to have entered the industry in a long time. And what was your advice to them? Was not to make the same mistakes that I have made. I got fired for you? this because I said this a little earlier on a TV channel. I made lots of mistakes. And, um, you know, it, it was fun. I've survived them. What were your but, mistakes? Well, I didn't know how to speak Hindi. I didn't know how to dance. I didn't know how to act. I hadn't taken any of it seriously, and I had no time to take it seriously or to do homework like my secretary suggested because I would go straight from Bombay, catch a flight, go to Calcutta and work or go to Madras and work. And any free time, lunchtime, when I should have been studying my dialogues, my kids had been packaged off to me after school for me to be with in Calcutta. So, you know, it was very different juggling everything together. And at night, allowed to go to sleep after an early dinner, but we had lots of parties. My husband always entertained. So I felt we would spend a little time with him and friends. So for me, it was very difficult and very different. But the kids are a little more focused on what they're doing, especially Rima, because Rhea's into it and Rima's just starting. So Rhea's able to give her a lot of advice, which sounds very strange. She seems to be the flighty one, but she actually isn't. Rima's a little more flighty, but getting away with it, you know, with this very oh, this serious sounds image. very it's interesting. It's just the reverse. I can't wait to meet the two of them, and we're going to do exactly <laughs> that after this break. So stay tuned, because break ke baad hum milne wale hai Munmun's eldest daughter, Rima Sensei. Stay tuned.